Hey everyone, Case of Rules here. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. This video tutorial is about this amazing background that I have right here, which is probably the first thing that you noticed, and the software that comes with it that lets you automatically switch backgrounds uh, every set interval that you want. This program is called Desktoptopia. Desktoptopia, as you can see right here in the description, is a uh, free desktop background manager that automatically loads and displays designer desktops on your monitor as often as you wish. And it's an amazing program, I'm going to tell you right now, but it's very cool and it just it keeps your you know your whole computer, your windows just feeling fresh and it's it's cool. So, um this was a program originally for Mac and they've just recently come out with a PC version that's still in beta, but it's a very good beta. It works, it's stable. It doesn't have all the features of the Mac version, but it's definitely good enough good enough and they're uploading and um, you know, patches and updates all the time, so it's pretty cool. As you can see the backgrounds like this one right here are really nice and if you don't want to download the program, you can just go to this website and download their desktops or desktop wallpapers and their um, you can just use one, but it, the software will cycle through every single one on the site. This is the one that I have right now. And people upload these, they make them themselves, and they're in really high resolution. They were originally Mac wallpapers, but they look excellent on the PC too, as you can see. And there are plenty of them. Um, I'll be showing you the interface in a minute here, but um, just switch real quick just to see what it's like. I think it's switching right now. Yep, and there's a new one, the bonsai tree. So that's pretty cool, and they're all really great. They just, you know, keeps it fresh. So we're gonna get this program right here. I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to use its interface. So just go right on here on the home page, desktoptopia.com, which will of course be in the description. Click on download PC version. And it comes right up, really simple. And save it to where you can find it. It's a very quick download as you can see. Open up where you saved it. I saved it to my downloads folder. It'll be in a zip file. Right click, use 7-zip, uh, WinRAR, or just the Windows extracting tool if you don't have those. You'll see extract all in here, I believe. And it'll automatically extract it to a folder. Open up that folder and run the setup. Setup comes up like this. All you have to do is click install and it installs it. There's not really any, you know, settings or anything because it's a really simple program. Click install, it'll install and you're done. So after you're done, go in here and type in desktop or if you're on S X uh, XP, just find it in your start menu and start it up. After you start it up, you'll see this running in your system tray right here, this little icon. If you double click it, you'll get this right here. Go ahead and choose start at login, I'm sure that's what you want. So it'll automatically, you know, start up at the when you log on and change the background without you having to start it up every time. Um, rotate options, check that on, and choose however often you want the desktop to change. And then um, if you have multiple monitors, it actually has great support for multiple monitors, so that's pretty cool. At least the Mac version does. I'm not quite sure about the Windows version because I don't have a, another monitor, but I've heard it's pretty good. Confirm rejects, you probably want to do that. I'll show you what that means in a minute. Going on over to feeds here, it'll update your feeds and you'll see this and it'll do this for a minute. What this is, is it's the feeds, is RSS feeds where it's getting all these wallpapers and it updates them every once in a while, as you can see right here, it just came up. And it's got different categories. One of the really cool things about the Mac version is you can add your own feeds from other websites that you like that have cool wallpapers. That's not yet available in the Windows version, but I'm sure it's coming soon. I've already requested it. and. So hopefully in the next update or so it'll be up. Updates, just check automatically check for updates. You can check it manually if you want every once in a while. And then social, it lets you tweet every time the background changes, which I don't do because I change every 15 minutes and that would get annoying for my followers. And you should follow me, by the way. So now that you've got it set up the way you want it, um, it'll automatically open up a new desktop wallpaper, desktop wallpaper. And if you right click, you get this menu right here. It'll tell you the name of the uh, wallpaper. You go over here, you can visit the creator's web page, refresh it, which it'll download the image again in case for some reason it changed. 
Um, and you can rate the image. If you like it, you can rate it right here for the creator, or you can reject the image. If you click reject, you'll get this message right here. It says, Desktop Topia will never show this background again. If you want it, if you really don't like the background, then you can do that, and it'll change to a new one, and it won't show that one ever again. I kind of like this one, so I'm going to leave it. And you can right-click again, see, click Next Background if you want a new one, Previous if you like the old one. Pausing stops it on the desktop that it's already on if you want to... I keep saying desktop. It keeps it on the wallpaper that you want, that you have, without changing. Preferences brings this up again. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this program is a really great program, very useful. Uh, just keeps your desktop fresh, keeps it interesting. And it's a lot of fun to have around to check out these really cool wallpapers, which are all very high quality and very high resolution, so they work on pretty much any monitor. So thank you for watching this video tutorial by Caseman Rules, and I'll see you next time.